catch you in store, at your home, or where you play, you win. Up to 200,000 winners, some of whom will do a little time at Club Med. Get caught red-handed from Coca-Cola Classic. Peekaboo, we're out to catch you. Listen ye all to our tale, that's true. When the war of the roses tore England in two, King Richard the Third went fateful day, fought Henry Tudor in a brutal fray. For poor King Richard, life grew worse. He lost his kingdom for one double horse. Henry the Seventh was then made king to Elizabeth of York. He offered his ring. She said, I do. Let's give it a fling. This union again made England one. The couple was blessed with a healthy son. Young Henry grew up. The castle is home. When his father passed on, he ascended the throne. Henry VIII took a wife from Spain. Catherine Aragon was her name. She bore him a daughter, a few little one. But to keep the throne, he needed a son. Back then, that's how things were done. For girls, it really wasn't much fun. The rocky marriage couldn't get worse. But the Pope refused to grant a divorce. So Henry started a church of his own. He got his divorce and stayed on the throne. Then Henry VIII went out. His former wife, his handmaiden, and gave birth to Elizabeth, but with no male kin. Well, you do the math. Poor Anne Boleyn, she lost her head, so once again King Henry wed. Jane Seymour gave to him a prince. But poor old Jane hasn't woken up since. So for a while our Henry grieves, then, then he marries Anne of Cleves, and came from fine German stock. She had a face that could stop a clock. Their marriage was cancelled in less than a year. His fifth wife, Catherine Howard, was dear. But Henry found out that her love was not true. He gave her the axe, what's a fella to do? So after five came wife number six, Catherine Parr is who Henry picks. He promised that he would do her no harm, so six wives proved to be the charm. And now, Hysteria presents a dramatic interactive reenactment of Order to Wives 1 through 6. At this time, please increase the volume control on your television set to its maximum level. Thank you. And now, our dramatic reenactment of... Divorce beheaded died! Divorce beheaded survived! Divorce beheaded died! Divorce beheaded survived! Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, back to our song. In 1547, Henry VIII went off to heaven. Or maybe for his dirty tricks to eighty double hockey sticks. His young son Edward was only ten when he took the English throne. But then, poor Edward died by age fifteen. His reign was followed by a queen. Jane Grey ruled for just nine days. She lost her head, to coin a phrase. Mary Tudor was next in line. The British throne is mine, mine, mine. Mary had strength, she took no flack. She brought the Catholic Church right back. At 42, Mary met her death and along with Queen Elizabeth. She was loved by her people and made England strong. She had a few boyfriends, they didn't last long. Elizabeth in age was just and fair, but Elizabeth never gave birth to an heir. And so we sing our last refrain The end finally came to the Tudor's reign Elizabeth died in 1603 The end of the Tudor's family tree The end of the Tudor's There could be no disputers The end of the Tudor's family tree